Hey guys, thanks for clicking on our video. We really appreciate that. So today we're gonna to talk about um, dash cluster on uh, Chevy Silverados. I don't know if there's any particular year. Um, we have an 04 Tahoe, we have an 05 um, flatbed Silverado that we are going to be changing the dash cluster on. And reason being is we're getting a parasitic draw that is killing the battery. And this video is not about the draw, this video is about the dash cluster because we have, long story longer, apparently the solder in the back of those dash clusters, they get corroded and it causes a draw. Very common problem on a lot of the Chevy trucks. So I'm not saying that's your problem, I'm just showing you um, we are upgrading our dash cluster. We've done it on our Tahoe and we're gonna do it on our flatbed today. It's, um, I'll show you what we have and how it looks. Let's check it out. All right, so here's the new cluster. Let's open it up, let's take a look. This is ISS Automotive. Uh, they've been around a long time. We've used them in other, like I said, we changed the cluster on our other vehicle, which has been great since we did it. Um, it's ISS Automotive, not ISIS. Um, <laughs> And here's the new cluster. This is the upgraded cluster. Uh, so it comes with like LED lights and it comes with the transmission uh, temperature gauge. Now the Tahoe didn't have that option. I think you can upgrade uh, the flatbed. We do a lot of towing with, so it's good to have that option in there. So well, let's open it up. Let's take a look and see what we have what she looks like All right here's our receipt we'll go over that now you do put the old cluster in as a core uh, otherwise there's like a $200 charge for that so you want to make sure they give you the box they give you the re return label and everything so let's pull it out take a quick look wow it is sure pretty. There's the cluster. I'll see if I can close up on that. It's really nice. I can't wait to see what it looks like all lit up. Now these are rebuilt. They're not like new, but they are upgraded with different instruments in there. So let's pop the old one out and let's get this in there and see uh, what it looks like. All right, so we're gonna disconnect the battery as they suggest you do. As you can see, we have it plugged in because the battery keeps going dead. Um, so let's unplug this maintainer. Let's get that out of the way. First, all right. And then let's, um, let's disconnect our negative here. All right, let's start with that. All right, so quick change out here. We're gonna pull this old cluster out. You have to take it out of gear, tilt your wheel down. Um, this just pops off really easy. It's almost scary how easy that comes off. Um, and then we gotta get this out of here. Okay, so pop the cover off and let me go grab the screws for this. All right, so let's remove the screws that hold this in. I believe it's I'm using a 932nd. There's only four screws here. Comes out pretty easy. Like I said, apparently this is a very common problem with the Chevy trucks, at least in these type years. Um, it was kind of annoying to find the draw. Took a few hours for sure, 
but hmm. I can't get to this. Let's see. Maybe we gotta tilt it up. There we go. We gotta put this back down. Get this out of here. And it comes out really easy. Just have to get this plug out. And there you go. Just pops right out. All right, and here is the old one we just removed. As you can see, pretty basic. And here's the new, this is the upgraded version with the LED lights, I did blue. You can pick different colors, um, blue, red, whatever. I will leave a link in the description for the website. Um, yeah, and like I said, this one has the temperature. You can get a standard uh, rebuild. They do set your mileage. You, you put it in there when you order it. You just put the same mileage on there. I think there's an hour meter on there also. I didn't really care about that, but it's on there. Uh, so yeah, let's get this new one in. Uh, let's get it lit up and see what it looks like. All right, so it's a new cluster. Let's get it plugged in, let's get it in there. Make sure it clicks in. By the way, this is a really easy DIY install, as you can see, um, for anybody who might be wondering. Can I do that myself? You can, it's really easy. You don't need a whole lot of tools to get that going. screw on the bottom this one you got to tilt the wheel well you don't have to but it makes it a little easier it's in there all right I'm probably going to hook up the battery before I put the uh, cover back on just to make sure that it works. So let's go get that done. All right, so we reconnected the battery. Everything should be legit. Let's, let's light this thing up and see what it looks like. That looks pretty good. take a look looks pretty good everything's on um, the same washer fluid airbag lights were on before in the old one there's a bad sensor uh, we'll get to that but looks like the RPMs working the lights are on gauges all seem to be working correctly Let's see, that's, yeah, that's where we were on fuel. All right, so we're gonna warm it up, make sure our uh, transmission temperature works and our engine temperature, make sure all the gauges are good. The oil pressure gauge um, is, the sensor's bad. So that's another thing on my truck, it's not the dash cluster. Oh, and here's another uh, thing. 123.5 they set the mileage exactly that was the mileage that I had on the vehicle and they put it in there perfectly so um, that's a nice feature all right so now we got that back in there everything seems to be good let's get our
cover back on here. It's not hard to do. You just have to be a little cautious of the gear shifter. It's one of those things. Finagle it until you get it in the right spot. in there nice and easy you don't have to force it all right let's get that back on there and there you go she is in and it looks good okay and that's it new cluster is installed so we have the return bag here i'm gonna put that in there. This goes right here. I can figure this out. And that's it. Like I said, you pop it in there, drop it in the, I think it is, it's a UPS, drop it off at the UPS store. It comes with the label, everything. I think for the upgraded version, it was about 380 bucks. Um, with uh, i think there was some kind of discount you got on the website like i said i'll put that in the description um and you can do the standard rebuild one it's i think it's like a hundred dollar less i think it, the led or the upgraded version was a hundred bucks so about 280 you can get it redone apparently there's a really common problem with a lot of chevy trucks and um had it on our tahoe same situation we did this um exchange and knock on wood we've never had the um parasitic draw problem again so with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much peace